So the first question is, how are you feeling right now? Overall, I'm fine. Our medics work wonders. Did your crew fly before in that area? Do you know the area well? Yes, certainly. We did multiple combat missions in that area. I know it very well. So we use this route uh, to fly combat missions and then go back to the base. Uh, as a navigator, I know every height there. I can even uh, navigate without instruments. Constantine, they say that uh, one kilometer in time-wise for a military pilot is just one second. Could this have happened that uh, you... Uh, Moved into the Turkish airspace for a short period of time. No, it's absolutely impossible. Even for a second, we were flying at an altitude of 6,000 meters. The weather was uh, really clear, and as we in our uh, pilot banter uh, say, it was clear a million kilometers by million kilometers. And so before we were hit, so we controlled uh, the uh, route, and I could see it very well on the map and uh, by the heights, uh, by the mountains. So there was no threat of moving into the Turkish airspace. Turkey says that F-16 uh, fights uh, sent you multiple warnings that you were uh, violating the Turkish airspace. How did it happen in real life? Actually, there were no warnings. Either uh, by radio or visually, there was no contact whatsoever. That's why we were flying in nominal mode. You just need to know the difference uh, in speed between an F-16 fighter and a bomber that we were flying. If they wanted to uh, warn us, they could have uh, done it visually by uh, flying uh, in parallel course. There were no warnings whatsoever, and the missile hit the tail of our plane unexpectedly. We didn't see it visually in order to make a maneuver to avoid being hit. So what's about your health at the moment? What are your plans? I expect to be released as soon as possible so that I could go back to duty. I'll ask my officers to stay at this base. Someone has to pay for the death of the commander.